Hey our friends, today we're going to be drawing a summer penguin. Yeah, it's going to be a penguin that's dressed for swimming. Summer. And yeah. summer. Yeah, sunglasses and a swimsuit. Yeah. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our penguin's beak. We're going to draw a V, letter V in the middle of our paper but towards the top. Then we can connect the top of the V. Now oh, it looks like an upside down triangle. Next we're going to draw our penguin sunglasses. I'm going to draw a U. We're going to draw a U shape right here and I'm going to get really close to the beak and then we're going to draw another U shape over here that matches. So we want it to be the same size on both sides. Yeah. Then we can connect the in between part that goes over the nose or the beak. Then on this side, let's draw a curve that comes out, just a little curve that comes out on both sides. Then we're going to draw a short line that goes up on each side also. I'm going to turn my paper sideways and then we're going to connect these. So I'm going to draw a line that comes over and maybe in the middle it goes down a little bit and then comes back up to finish the sunglasses. Now this is the frame for our sunglasses. Let's draw the lenses. I'm going to draw another U shape inside and we're going to go right along the outside shape and we'll do the same thing over here. Draw another letter U on the right side. And then let's connect the top. So I'm going to curve the corners too before I connect it in so that it, there aren't sharp corners on each side. <laughs> that looks awesome, Jack. Good job. Thanks. Okay, now I think we're ready to draw our penguin. We're going to draw a big U shape that goes over the top. So I'm going to start here on the left and I'm going to draw, we're going to go up, over, <laughs> and then we're going to come back down on the other side. That's one serious looking penguin. Yeah. <laughs> On the left, let's draw the side of the body that comes out and down a little further. And then we could do the same thing over here to match. Now we need to draw our penguin swimsuit. Let's connect across the bottom. And I'm going to also draw it a little past on each side. So the line can come out just a little bit. Now we're going to draw the outside shape of our swimsuit. I'm going to start higher on the side of the penguin, come out and then down. And we'll do the same thing over here, out and down. <laughs> we're going to draw an upside down V. I'm just going to draw a small one. And then we can connect the bottom with a curve and on both sides. And there's our swimsuit. <laughs> He's looking awesome. Now let's draw the drawstring for our swimsuit. I'm going to draw a raindrop shape that comes out to the left and also another raindrop shape comes out to the right. So it looks like it's tied in a bow. Then we can draw two lines coming down for the end of the drawstring. If we ever go too fast, remember you guys can... Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. All right, what's our penguin missing? Arms. Yeah, and arms. Feet. And flippers. Yeah, flipper. <laughs> Let's draw a little U shape for the left and also the right flipper. <laughs> our penguin's looking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we also need to draw, they have white bellies. So I'm going to draw a line that starts here and it's going to come up and then connect to the sunglasses. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. We're going to come in a little bit and then we can come back out and connect up to the top. Next we're going to imagine this line going behind the sunglasses, coming out the top, and then we're going to curve back down, up, and then curve around to connect on the other side. <laughs> Now let's draw flippers. I'm going to draw a curve coming down and then back in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Do the same curve coming out and down and back in. 
We finished drawing our summer penguin. But we still need to color it. Yeah, this is my favorite part. And we're also gonna add a background. Well, we are gonna fast forward this part, but at the end you can always pause the video if you wanna match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yep. That was a lot of coloring. You did such a great job, Jack. Thank you. We also added a background. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring, or you could also change your drawing any way you want. You could color it differently. You could also add a different background. We use markers to color our drawings. Yeah, but you could use whatever you have at home, crayons or even colored pencils. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your summer penguin. Yeah, and we hope you had fun changing your drawings. I hope they look different than ours because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.